hey there, we're back and doing this tarot card thing, you know, right? Like, tarot cards. I must say, I fear for the sanity of any man who believes in the occult readings of the tarot. I wonder if we can match these cards up and work up what they predict. Choop. I like tarot cards. They're cool looking. Like, I don't really believe in tarot cards that much. I just think, like, they look cool. Don't they? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I believe in, like, tarot cards as, like, being true. I, I, per se. Like, Death, the Hanged Man, the Tower, the Magician. I don't know if I believe, like, any of them. I don't, I don't know how it works. I'm no expert in tarot fortune. Tell, I don't know, but... You know, I don't know. I don't know if I believe in them. They're cool. Like, look at that. Look at them. These are some. I don't know. There's cool ones though. I'm no expert in tarot fortune telling, but from what I could tell, these cards show a very dark and violent for future for someone. You don't think they relate to Druid? I used to believe that I've committed suicide, which is a pretty dark future as far as I'm concerned. Well, the king is king of swords can relate to a lawyer or a doctor, so that would fit. We must investigate Druid's offices. They are located nearby. Sweet, maybe I don't have to go to the fifth crime scene. Druitt was a barrister. This is his old office, so maybe there are some clues about his life hidden in here. Family portrait. Family portrait. Handkerchief. Is that a handkerchief? That's a PhD. Someone's a PhD, man. Stupid. That was a golf club, not a handkerchief. Why did I cling it was a handkerchief? That's a violent cello. Cello? Okay, I ivory carving. Oh my gosh, this guy's evil. That's ivory, isn't it? No, that ivory? That ivory? Sure that's not ivory? That ivory? That's ivory. I don't know what an ivory carving looks like. Ivory, ivory, uh, wig. Files. A trunk. Okay, there's a trunk. Is that a ruby? No, it was an apple. I need a ruby. That was a ink bottle. I don't know. What? Oh, okay. Magnifying glass. That's a thing, isn't it? No. Okay, where the heck is that ruby at? Where's that ruby? A handkerchief, a ruby. A corn and an ink bottle. Corn! Oh, there's corn. Is that a handkerchief? Yes. Bloodstained? Jeez. Just leave bloodstained handkerchiefs lying around. I mean, I might, because I get bloody noses a lot. You know, I'm one of those people. Like, if it gets dry at all, I'm like, I'm just bleeding out of my nose. That was a bleeding noise. For sure. Druid's family history certainly contains points, certainly points to him being mentally unstable. Both his parents died a few years ago, and it seems Druid's mother was quite mad and was committed to an asylum before she died. Yes, I agree, Mac. I suggest we take that bloodstained handkerchief back to my lab. I have invented some new tests which will enable us to compare the blood type from the handkerchief with those of our Ripper victims. First, we need to fi find my microscope in order to examine- Gosh, you're such an unorganized little piece of suck. Squid. Seal. What type of seal? My animal or the? That's no, no, normal. Not, not an animal, but a fork. That's a fork. Some sanitary, sir. I am condemning this building for unsanitary conduct. Skull. Why do you? You also got a bunch of skulls everywhere. That's a skull. Books aren't bad. They're, they're books. Book. That's a book. That, that's a book. Uh, bell jar, quill, a whistle.
Hey, come here, whistle. Well, I got a hint. Come on, whistle. Where are you? Whistle and a hat. Whistle. It's a whistle. Where could a hat even be? Oh, geez, I almost like fell basically. I don't know if it's fall. Okay, I guess whistle. What? Oh my god, it's right there. Very good. We are ready to compare the blood types. Okay, now we need to go through the results of these blood tests and match the pairs of blood types. So... This is not good. Woo! Woo! Thought that was that. Doesn't Yes. Yes. Bam. Chwonk. That's like um Neapolitan right there. Boom. Seems the blood from Druid's handkerchief is a definite match for the blood type of last least one victim. Marvelous Dalton, this is the conclusive proof we need to pin the murders on Druid. Sadly, no. Unfortunately, Mac, unfortunately, the tests are not precise. They only tell us what blood type was the same, but it could match to thousands of other people. The obvious type O. That's rare, right? I think it's O. Scotland Yard looks a little spooky at night, don't you think? But never mind, we need to find the crime scene photographs for the stride murder. That's to be so we better start searching. Uh huh. There's a hint. Someone put him up in the window again, like an idiot. A plate. A ring. A ring, you say? A ring. That's a rat. Hammer. Garlic. It's not a pistol. Wouldn't count. Yeah, I guess. Hammer. Fingerprint. Handcuffs. Pistol. Oh, there they are. Shovel. That's the rake. Not the rake. The rake. As in the gardening tool. Okay. Parasol. Where's that umbrella at? Oh, no, it's there. Ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. Ladle, ladle, ladle. Ladle, 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 ladle. There's the shovel. A ring, a ladle, and a spider. Spider. I, I don't know why, but I just, I'm just really moving a lot. I don't know. It's not that I want to, just, I can't get like comfortable while I'm sitting here. I don't know why. Okay, ladle, 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 and the ring, ring, ring. That didn't work. Wait, that was a ring. Ladle, 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 ladle. <sighs> ladle, where are you? 
You're not a ladle, are you? Wait, that's not a ladle, that's a bat. Or a baton, I don't know. I don't know if specific. Show me the ladle. Excellent, let's see if these crime scene photos can shed any more light on the case. Oh gosh. Why am I so uncomfortable right now? Like, I don't know. Anyone out there can answer me. I would love it. Difference is 0 out of 14. Oh gosh, this thing. That's a difference. Don't you lie to me. It's a difference. That's a difference. There's difference. No. The rake isn't there, you idiot. Hey, 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 there's nothing there. There wasn't anything there. There wasn't, there's not a thing there in the picture. Not, they're there. Right there. There. There and bum bum bum. Right, bum bum bum. I don't know. Click, click, click. Cat. Yeah, you know. I know. McNaughton's office. Just one murder case to now why do you keep losing all the files, you piece of Do I need a knife? Clarinet, huh? I thought I saw a clarinet. Maybe not. Uh Clarinet? No, I, I don't see a clarinet. Wait, clarinet. That's not a clarinet? That's a knife. Clarinet, teapot, 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 tea. There's the case files. Where's the teapot at? Okay, I don't know. Teapot? No. Ink bottles. One ink bottle. That's Is that an ink bottle? Yes, I don't know what I clicked on. I clicked on a candlestick. Okay. Wants me to find cameras again. I noticed that. Microscope. A clock. What's a truncheon? Oh yeah, it's the little baton thing, right? That. Hat. Two hats, two hats. Double hat, double hat. Hat. And... I don't see another hat. Jerk. Where the hat at? Camera. There's a fish and a broccoli. Hat. A queen. Are you a queen? Yes, you're a queen. Okay, clarinet and a teapot. You're not a teapot. No, you are a teapot. Oh, that's a clarinet. I was like, is that a clarinet or not? This is a case file for my, the Mary Kelly murder. Hell, oh, man, if you carry out such a brutal and savage attack is beyond me. I fear you must be quite insane. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, how bad is it? In the early hours of Friday, November 9th, Jack Ripper committed what was believed to be his final and most horrific murder. Mary Kelly's body was found. Oh, my gosh. Oh, probably, like, I think it was beyond recognition, so. Not bad. Than one of them. Okay. Yes, I have read the coroner's report, and I find it hard to believe any man carried out such horrific acts of mutilation on another human being. Any sane man, no. And I still believe we may be looking for someone who is, in fact, sane. Insane. So, it's, indeed, this last act may have pushed the Ripper over the edge of sanity, which could be why the murder stopped after Mary Kelly's. You guys don't know what I live, what our world is now. You're, you'd be like, oh my god. We thought they couldn't do these acts of mutilation. Jeez. You know, 
We don't got too much of a perfect No, that's a skeleton. Non mutilating society, you know. We're pretty like I'm gonna murder you society, you know? Well no, not like a dare that's not what I mean. Like I mean as a whole our society's kinda like super violent. Not everyone, just a lot, not, not, not really our society, I don't know, just like kind of the world in general, there's like so many things, you know, like, all this stuff, like, that you hear about happening, like, it's really worse than Jack the Ripper, I mean, I guess that's not what I'm trying to say, but, you know, he should live in our time, see how he feels about how great his crime is then. If some mutilation is the worst it gets, it's good, you know? Social commentary. No. Okay. The key is for Mary Kelly's door. It may explain why the door was locked when we found her body, yet there was no signs of forced entry to her room. Is that her house? <sighs> some actors suggesting the killer had the key to the room. It would certainly appear that way, Galton. Perhaps the murderer knew Mary Kelly. I suggest we look inside the room, because after all, that is where the murder took place. Got a warrant, bud? No, she can't stump dead lady's room. She doesn't have. You can't. Who's gonna? Be like, okay. There's a very room where Mary Kelly was butchered. Sends a shiver down your spine, doesn't it? No, not really. Not like I'm actually in the room. Okay, oil painting, letter. Glass. Just glass. That's glass. No? Okay, squid. I, I just got a squid, apparently. Bone. Wait, that, that's glass. Okay. Bone. News. I don't know. Um, spoon. Coin. Coin. Uh, let's see. Spoon, spoon, spoon. There's a wrench. Do I need a wrench? There's a hint. Oh, jeez. What? Around to the mouse. Oh, God. My mouse missed him. One second. Sorry about that. I think I was using a wireless mouse, you know, and it died, so. Okay, skull, skull, skull. No, I didn't, wait, I clicked on something. Oh, I got a wine crate. Cockroach, there's one down there, there's that. There's my rat. Bone. There's a cockroach. Cockroach. What does it mean? I don't know what it means by glass. Oh, painting. Okay, um, no, not that paper, a uh, plate, um, that's a plate, a spoon and a bone. <sighs> this house feels weird now. Cause I've been using this map, the other mouse, the wireless one forever. Jeez, planes, why are you so loud? I'm not complaining, but... I'm not trying to, I don't know, I'm not complaining, I'm like, okay, good, it's good. It's good that there's the planes going, because no, it's not good, they're fire planes, but, I mean, it's good that they're going to fight a fire, but. That is a glass, what the heck, I clicked on it like 80 times, that's a glass, and that's a glass. I don't know where the spoon is, so spoon. Oh. 
<laughs> this is a blackmail letter to someone named Addy. The letter says they know Addy to be the father of a child born to a woman. Any crook in it demands money or they will release the information to the pa newspapers. Who is this Eddie? They refer to, I wonder, and does apparently relevant to our investigation. Not sure, although I do recall that Prince Albert Victor Queen's Victor... Queen Victoria's grandson is affectionately known as Eddie to his friends. Could it be that this letter is addressed to the prince? Surely not. That would certainly cause a huge scandal. I could see how certain parties would want to stop this before it got out. We obviously have no proof that it refers to the prince, but my sixth sense tells me we should investigate farther. Mary Kelly was often seen in the Britannia pub, so let's poke around there and see if we can dig any clues. I'm just going to keep going because I'm really close. Oh, God, no, I'm... Sorry. <laughs> yes, it's definitely one of Sacred's pains. Once again, seems to have a connection to the Ripper victims. I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit longer, just in case this ends, okay? And now the Britannia. Goodness me. Once again, we find ourselves frequently in East End bars, Galton. We are going to get a bad reputation if we aren't careful. Nothing less. We must suppress on and see if we can find any more information about this Annie Cook and her baby. Okay, an invitation. A bird. A bird. A fingerprint. That's a hint, isn't it? Yeah. Coin. Bottles. More bottles. Jeez. There's not okay, what's a generic thing we can easily put into the game without it looking really obvious and weird? Oh, bottles. Let's put them in every level. That's a tanker, isn't it? No. Okay, what else do I even need to find? A copper pan? Is that a copper pan? Yes, a violin! I thought I saw a violin somewhere. But... What? Okay, a violin and candlestick. That's a candlestick. Violin, a coin. Two more bottles. Violin. Looks like an invitation to the christening of Annie Crook's child. Okay. Coin in a bottle. You know what? Oh, that is a coin. I clicked on it 40 times. According to this invitation, somebody named Annie Crook had a child christened at St. Christ's Church. So, Mac, it looks as like the blackmail letter must have had some truth in it, and this Annie Crook definitely had a child. Indeed, Galton. Maybe we can find some records of the ceremony at Christ's Church. I suggest... Okay, this has to be over soon. Never been here at night before. It's kind of spooky. If it's not over in, like, ten minutes... I have more to when you think Jack Drew may have stalked it's a bevel of his victims here in the damp dark. Shut up. Seal fragment. This is the last seal fragment, I think, right? Bottles? I need bottles? No. Tuba. That's a tuba. Gravestone. Okay, I need wreaths. Gravestone. It's a gravestone. Coffin. Um, bones, four bones. And candles again. Okay. Uh, shoop. Candles. What? That was a hint. Okay. That's nice. Gravestone, bones, two more bones, two more bones. I already found the bones. How should I not be able to find them again? Bone. Wreath. And I found the wreaths too, but where's the second wreath again? Oh, there. Fish! Fly. Fish! Candle. I need one more candle. Candle, candle, candle. Okay. A P. 
pickaxe. That's a pickaxe. A bishop. There's one inside of the church. That's a pelvis. Gravestone. Bishop. Wait. Why can't I find anything? What I find? Something. Oh, I found the bone. Click, 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 click. Oh, I found the bishop. You know what? Gravestone and... Oh yeah, I forgot. Another one of those seal fragments. Do we still have all the other pieces we found? I think I know what it is now. Okay, now we just need to fit these fragments together. Pick a fragment. Left, rotate it with the right mouse button and click left button when you think it's in the correct position. You mean when I know it's in the correct position? Bam. Look at that. Super genius at play here. Really close. I can smell it. Oh, I recognize the royal seal. I believe the royal coaches all have one. Now that is extremely interesting. We we can, as we can seem to have found a fragment of this particular seal in the vicinity of each each and every one. You insist on the royal. We're following this royal connection, Mac. But I fear no good can come of it. You may be, of course, be correct, Dalton. But first, I think we need to pay the royal coach house a visit just to see if there's any coaches with their seals missing. Ended already, guys. Come on, I went over time for this. None of these coaches are damaged, are they? Scissors. Scissor? Scissors! A watch. Better watch yourself there. A fork. Two forks, I mean. It's a spoon. Okay, spoon, horseshoes. One horseshoe, two, two horseshoe, three horseshoe. Do I need a top hat? Yes. A saw. So, a saw, a butterfly. Okay, butterfly. That's a spoon. No, I need forks. Never mind. Forks. That's a spoon. Why is there all only spoons here? Fish. There's an unusual amount of fish in this town. I mean, to get to the bottom of it. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I need more. I need to saw. I need to cauliflower. Not anymore. Sawfish. I no, sawfish. Sawfish. Well, no, I need a saw and a fish. Now I just need a fish, a spanner wrench. What did I get? I got the something. There's a fork. There's another fork. Okay. That's a watch. Oh my god, I missed a Spanish wrench. It definitely looks like the seal blonde to the royal coach, which we just saw him been deliberately hidden away. No, I think we need to get back to my office to consider all the evidence. Okay! This might be it. Ah! Okay, this has to be the end. I'm sorry. I'm going way right over time. With this. Just click, 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 and he click. Click, 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 and he click. You can probably hear it clicking because I'm clicking, trying to click it as fast as I can. Do, 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 do. 
Do 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 do. Okay, what am I missing? Crime photo. One crime photo. Don't you do that. Mason cuff. Blackmail letter. That's not a fingerprint? Okay. Whoop, whoop, there's something. Royal seal. I don't see it. Crime photo. Oh, that's a blackmail letter. Crime photo. Okay. Just need the royal seal. Come on. R, R, R. Huh? Huh? No. That's everything we have, I believe. So let's sort it all out and come to a final conclusion. Okay. Final conclusion time. Okay, we need to take the evidence we found and match it with the correct suspects. Click on two pieces of evidence to swap their positions until all their locations and evidence are lined up under the correct suspects. Um. 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 Why would I remember this? Okay, at least it tells me kind of, you know? This was the last one, right? This was the, that one, apparently. That was there. This was the last murder. Sweet, okay, um, not, not sweet the murder, you know. Actually sweet the murder, yes, yeah, sweet. Okay. Um. Okay. There we go. Okay, excellent. This makes the evidence. Against each of our suspects, much clearer. You, we not must decide who's most likely to be the rip. Do I have to decide? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's obviously the Masons. I don't know. It's probably George Chapman. Look at him. He's got poison. You have shown great detective skill in completing the game. And in your opinion, you chose. Suspect, your, your chosen suspect is the third most likely of the five. George Chapman was born in shortly before him. What? Okay, I'm done. Several years after the Ripper murders, Chapman managed to successfully poison three of his wives using tartar in it. Chat when Chapman was convicted for the murder of his third wife, Aberline said to have remarked. Jack Rivers occurred more than 100 years ago. The case is still shrouded in myth and mystery. To this day, much of the original evidence has been lost over the years, and many of the so called facts about. Jack the Ripper are just the opinions of various authors who have investigated the case over the last century. Jack the Ripper never remain, will forever remain a popular cult figure. Okay. Okay, so that was... I'm not going to read all that because it's really long. Jack the Ripper, or real crimes, Jack the Ripper. This was, okay, this was game was completely different, right? From butchers to royalty artists to surgeons, okay. But to this day, no one can say for certain who the real killer was. This game was really different because it was a high, like a point, point and click, a um, hidden object game. But, you know, I actually enjoyed it. I don't know how you could say, I don't know what I could say that's bad.